As Amber Heard's ex-boyfriends, we've all been watching the trial. So we felt it was our duty to come out in support of Johnny Depp and say, She shit in my bed too. Amber also shit in my bed. Amber shit in my bed too. You know, oftentimes she would just sit on the sofa eating a bowl of beans while making intense eye contact with anyone who walked in the room. She loved her beans. Refried, pinto, garbanzos. We actually used to call her Mr. Bean. She was always grunting. She used to come home in a violent rage and just yell at the top of her lungs, it's poo o'clock, it's poo o'clock. Hashtag poo too. She turned my bed into a bedpan. 3,000 thread count Egyptian cotton, satin, jersey knit. I mean, there's nothing she wouldn't mark on. It was honestly like dating an orangutan, the way that Amber Heard weaponized poo in our relationship. Still nightmares of the turds. She also farted a lot. She would eat six or seven cheesy gordita crunches in a single sitting. You know, it was like living with a member of the club. Sometimes she would blame it on my dog. I mean, I, I don't feed him corn. There was an entire husk in there. Did she not chew? She left a steamer in the oven and blamed it on our housekeeper, Carlos. At one point, I tried to reconcile our relationship by bringing her to this weekend getaway at a log cabin. She walked in, closed the door, squatted down, took a dump, looked me in the eyes and yelled, now it's a log cabin, bitch. She was a poo terrorist. On Halloween, she wanted to be Scatwoman. That was a bad Halloween. She turned my sheets into a Jackson Pollock painting. It's a modern shard exhibit. My clothes were constantly stained. I can only imagine what Johnny Depp had to go through washing his 19 scarves. I told her I was going to volunteer to help with Hurricane Ida relief, and she said, why? You've got a shit storm brewing right here. I was afraid to speak up for years. I thought, you know, it was something I did. Maybe I deserve the poo on the bed. No one deserves this shit. Oftentimes, she would walk into the bedroom backwards, making beeping sounds. Beep, beep. <laughs> Word of advice, if she asks you to play craps, <laughs> She isn't using dice. My friends used to call her Deuce Hurtalo. It was absurd, gross, and cruel. She was a fecal maniac. I started dating this new girl. We went to the movies. She ordered goobers. I, I got so triggered, I puked on her tits. She shit on my fries and called it a Cleveland poutine. Hashtag poo I mean, she was a good cook if you wanted to eat a plate of shit. And we're here for you, Johnny. If you just want to reach out for an ear to talk to or recommendations on cleaning services. Don't let the butt burritos keep you down. There's just something about all those dumps that leads a man to drink. Hashtag poo too. Hashtag poo too. You're not alone, Jonathan. Hashtag poo too. It's just like mounds of poo. Sometimes while we were fornicating, she would be on top of me reading the newspaper and I knew that nothing good would come of that. My mattress was Ukraine and she was Vladimir Pooing. She also farted a lot. <laughs>